Hello everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa. I'm Vanessa and this is another AliExpress nail art haul video. And well, to be honest, I really should be redoing my nails in this video. Um, as you can see, they're super grown out. I think it's been three and a half weeks since I did my nails. And they're actually starting to have that feeling of like, you know, weakness in here because the apex has actually grown out. So it's definitely time to redo my nails. However, during the month of June, I have been invited by some other nail vloggers tutorialists, I don't know, whatever you call us, um, to do some collab videos, which is really exciting. I was actually invited by Lisa Whitney from Dana August Nails. She's super sweet and she's super talented. She hand paints like a lot of things. So if you haven't seen her channel yet, go check it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing these collab videos. And because of that, I felt like, oh my gosh, I need more supplies. I need to open some of my packages. And as you can see here, I have a whole box of packages I still haven't opened. Um, I know you're probably thinking, how is that possible you opened an entire box of stuff in your last video? But yeah, I still have a couple packages that I received back in September um, and some that I even received today. So I'm going to just randomly pick through what I think I might need for my videos during June and we're just going to open those. So let's get started. Okay, for the first package I decided to open, this one I ordered December 2nd. It arrived December 22nd, so it only took 20 days to arrive. Um, and I paid $15.55 for this package, including shipping. And there's one more item in there. And I ordered this one from the same place I ordered the tips in my last video. So the Yi Wu Runny Art Co. Limited on AliExpress. And so basically, I mean, if I'm going to be doing tutorial videos every week, there's no way I can do them on my own nails. Like I never have time to even do my own nails, let alone like every week <laughs> and then doing all the editing and everything. So I figured I would need some longer tips and luckily I had already ordered them. Um, and they did come with another Hello Kitty nail file, which is super cute. So it looks like this package is almond shaped. Let's just take a look at each one. So these are the same shape that I am wearing now. Of course, right now, these are actually my natural nails underneath. Um, they're super long, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so this is, so you can see actually my natural nail is slightly longer than the tip. And there it is, so it's really cute. Okay, so the next one, I have some coffin shape. Oh, and it's double bagged, it's interesting. just get one okay so there's the coffin and these ones are nice and long and mainly like yeah when I'm doing art for like a special tutorial video I do want the nail a little longer because then I have more surface to work on and create the art so these ones will be really good and wow they are really long they're even longer than my natural nails right now okay and I believe the last bag is stiletto so I'm kind of excited about those And there is the stiletto. And yeah, they're quite long. All right, so yeah, if you decide to tune in for the collab videos, which I think will be really fun, I oops, will probably be working on these nail tips. Okay, for the second package I've decided to open, this one um, I ordered March 3rd, it arrived April 1st. So it took about a month to arrive. 
um, and I paid twelve dollars and ninety two cents plus another four dollars and seventy four cents oh that's right I ordered um, like separately from the same seller and then they put it all in one package so I believe yes yeah, so the palette um, was four dollars and seventy four cents and then everything else was twelve dollars and ninety two cents and this is from the art lalic official store on aliexpress and i wanted to open this one especially for the mylar so let's look at this this is really disappointing actually um I just wanted a really nice palette, but I wanted it to be flat and in the advertising. And if I have the picture, I'll add it right up here. Um, but the advertising didn't show that it had like this raised bit, so I'll just show you. Yeah, they never indicated at all that it would have like this rough bit on the sides um, it was perfectly smooth in the photo which is really annoying because you know like if I'm using this as my palette and I'm putting like gel polish and stuff on it and then I'm trying to wipe it off if I accidentally wipe it into this rough part it's gonna be really hard to get it out and it is super rough like it's yeah you can see so um, yeah it's a little disappointing I believe I have since ordered another one from a different company so hopefully that one arrives the right way without all this crusty bit around the side um, I mean it looks pretty for sure but that's not what I was looking for okay yeah so I wanted to order the mylar pieces um, for encapsulating and uh, they are really pretty so I got a few different shades this one's I guess a little bit more green this one's more blue and purple this one's kind of a pink with a green yellow kind of glow and then I have like the marble color and you get quite a lot in each little baggie here so I don't think I'll run out anytime soon um, but these are a little bit bigger pieces of mylar as you can see and then I forgot I actually ordered more nail tips that's right I think I showed you in my last video during my 1111 sale um, I had ordered actual like just tips not the full coverage and they never showed up so this was my answer to that I just ordered more um, but these ones are the stiletto whereas the ones I had previously ordered were a square tip So they're quite long, quite pointy. And then I also ordered these cute little mylar pieces that are actually like little shapes. So we got like stars and butterflies and hearts. Let's see if I can get just a few out here. So you have bigger and smaller circles can sort of see I'm trying to see in the camera so that you can tell what you're looking at um, there's little teeny moons um, a little butterfly there uh, let's see what else there's little stars yeah so a little mix of shapes and stuff which is cool so I thought these would be really nice for encapsulating if I can get them back in and <laughs> they're just all over the place <laughs> Oh, and there's even little hearts. You can see that. Let's see if I can get the light. There you go. Okay, and then last but not least in this package, I got this little pen. And it's supposed to be for doing like, um, you know, detail work on the nail. So let's just see. color in my triangle yeah so it definitely seems to be drawing now let me see if I can draw in this one there we go 
yeah so it works pretty good um so i thought that was kind of a neat idea instead of trying to like draw things um, by painting you can actually literally draw it with a pen so that'd be cool before we move on to the next package i just wanted to um show you guys my background here i've had quite a few comments on my backgrounds and so i just want to show you what i'm using here so this is actually a crafting pad of paper um, and so it comes with like many different designs Um, so it's kind of designed for doing paper crafts, but I do and I do do paper crafts. I make greeting cards um, But yeah, so I get these from Michaels and or the dollar store the dollar store actually has pretty nice pads But they're definitely smaller than the ones you get from Michaels um, This one I actually got on sale I think it might have cost me like eight dollars or something like that, which is a really good deal I think normal price for these is about 29 which is crazy to me Let's just see. So the pricing. So yeah, $29 Canadian, which is $10 more than the US, which is freaking crazy. But it kind of gives you an idea of like the designs that are in this pad. And you saw me use this one as my background for last week's video. Okay, seeing that we were already opening a package with Mylar, I thought I would open a another one. So this one I ordered back in November, November 3rd, and it arrived January 6th. Of course Christmas was in between so it would have taken a little while to get past Christmas. Um, I paid six dollars and 43 cents for these three packs and it came from Ideal Home Nail Art and False Eyelashes Makeup Store on AliExpress. Okay so let's just take a look and you can see it's kind of leaked out into the bag a bit. So this looks more like kind of foil as opposed to mylar. I don't know if I can open it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'd almost call this more of a foil than a mylar. I'm even stuck to my nail already. Um, but we have some really pretty colors. So we have red, green, pink, like a yellowy gold. Maybe it's more of a just plain gold. <laughs> um, blue with like looks like silver or gold added to it. Pink with gold. Red with gold. Black with gold. Blue with silver. Yeah, so you can kind of see. I got a little bit of everything there. This is definitely Mylar. And you can see, oh my gosh, it's completely leaked out into the bag. And look at all that that's in the bag there. Yeah, so we have all these little Mylar bits, which is awesome. And I know, I mean, I have tons that I already bought, but you know, I think what happened is I had this sitting around, so then I ordered the other Mylar. Um, but as you can see, they're completely different, so that's good. And I just see so many people using the Mylar pieces in their videos, and I just, I really wanna encapsulate some and make it look really pretty. It just looks so nice when they're encapsulated, it glows from inside, it's really pretty. And I'm sure you know, because I'm sure you've watched those videos too. Okay, and then this one is like smaller bits. And I did want to get um, sort of the random shapes. I didn't want to have like a straight sprinkle. So these ones are just like random shards, which is great. I can't get this package open. <laughs> And it looks like they saran wrapped the inside as well. Oh. Because it's saran wrapped, I can't get it out of the package. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm not gonna unsaran wrap it just because I don't wanna make a mess. You can see all the pieces that are floating around in there. Yeah, really pretty and I really like the way that these are like really tiny pieces these ones are a little bit bigger so you kind of have like a little bit of an option of sizes okay let's move on 
Okay, for the next package, I've decided to open. I ordered this one December 3rd. It arrived January 28th. I paid $12.82, and it's from the Tracy Nail Art and Makeup Beauty on AliExpress. Um, I'm opening this one particularly for the dry flowers, just in case there's some kind of challenge with like dry flowers, like some kind of milk bath or something like that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get these out. So as you can see, there's a good variety of dry flowers and different colors in this one, as well as a few leaves. Um, however, now that it's spring, I definitely recommend going out and just randomly picking like really tiny little flowers and then pressing them yourself. So you can just do that in a book. Um, don't put the flowers directly in between the pages of the book. You're gonna wanna put like some kind of barrier, like some kind of um, um, parchment paper or something and then press it in between the pages of the book. Otherwise, the pages of your book will look stained from the flowers, so just be careful of that. But yeah, you can definitely dry your own flowers and then encapsulate them. Um, you don't have to buy them on AliExpress or anywhere else. They are a little bit more expensive when you buy them, so just to be aware of that. Okay, and then the rest of this is just extra bonus. <laughs> um, but it looks like something was missing. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was a sticker because I bought a few stickers here. Um, and I think it might have been just one of the sheets of stickers. I think it was like a pop art sticker. It's hard to remember. Anyways, um, and you'll notice that even though this was the Tracy Nail Art and Makeup Beauty, it still says STZ Nail Art. So I think there's a few stores that this company actually owns on AliExpress. Okay, so let's look at the stickers I did get. I can get it out of the packaging. One at a time. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Okay. So I did get a bunch of butterflies. So let's look at this first one. So it looks like we have a monarch butterfly. Um, and this one has a little bit of green on it, which is kind of pretty. And then the blue uh, butterflies and oh. It looks like a butterfly transferred from one of the other ones. You can see down here. I don't think that's supposed to be there. In fact, it looks like it came off of this. So you can see it's the same butterfly. Though it doesn't look like it's missing. Just got a random one. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, and then we have these ones. And I really like the fact that it actually says butterfly. It's super pretty. I really love that one. Little rainbow butterflies, really pretty. Yeah, and we'll look at this one. These ones are super pretty too. I mean, they're all really pretty, but you know, these little guys here are super cute. Okay, and this one's more like every color of the rainbow, like a spotted butterfly, it's like leopard print. <laughs> and this one does have some nice um, flowers on it as well. And once again, it says butterfly over here, which I really like. And then of course, Audrey Hepburn. How could I say no to that? <laughs> I love Audrey Hepburn's movies. Um, and I would totally wear her on my nails, so. And I'm curious to try these full coverage ones. I'm not a big fan of the full coverage um, water decals. I just find that you usually get separating a little bit because there's not enough like gel for it to grab onto and you obviously don't want to like file over top of them because it's gonna like ruin it so um, I've heard some people putting protein protein bond over it and that helps um, I'll have to try that I haven't tried it myself but anyways and then I got some roses really pretty this will be great for Valentine's Day when it rolls around again and then some Marilyn Monroe stickers with some Audrey Hepburn. And this one has a little bit of a mix. Definitely have some Grace Kelly here. This is definitely Audrey Hepburn from um, My Fair Lady. So when she's at the horse race. 
um, I, yeah, I love all of her movies. But yeah, you can see there's quite a few. There's definitely Grace Kelly there. And you got some perfume and some sunglasses and lipstick and nail polish. Okay, next, I do have some water decals, decals. Okay, plastic already came off one of them. Oh, it came off this back one. Anyways, so we have some fall leaves. So really pretty. And I bought them in a few different shades. Some maple leaves for Canada Day. Actually, these ones will be better. Okay, and then it's funny, I don't remember ordering these bows, but we'll see. Assuming these are water decals as well. Yeah. That's funny. I totally don't remember ordering these. Okay, so we have gold bows. I wonder if this was like a gift? Seems like kind of a big gift though. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna have to look back on my purchasing and see if I actually ordered this. But this is really cute. I really like the little stars and like crosses and stuff. I just feel like I could stamp this so that's why i'm surprised i would have bought it some random shapes this one's cute i always like things with like words and stuff paris love i love you yeah so those are cute oh tropical leaves and palm trees Oops. no i have some cats like this in black cute. Okay. That's nice. And just some random stripes. Flowers. Tropical flowers. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Some kind of symbols. And those are pretty. Oh, these are cute. Kind of like the way you have the little bubbles and you can like put little words into it. It's really cute. Little random dots. I mean, honestly, I can paint dots. That's not a problem. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I do like this. It's got lots of words on it. But, does it say Jim? Uh -oh. I don't know anyone named Jim. Anyways, and oh, this one's got lots of words too, so that's cute. You can maybe put these in some of those word bubbles. I'm so happy, you're mine, let it go, I love you, believe in yourself. Yeah, those are really cute. I could definitely see putting some of those with like some unicorn stuff or something. That's really nice. Okay, and then uh, last but not least, I do have some Christmas foils. So let's take a look at that. Oh, this is really cute. So that's cute. Little Christmas trees and like balls and stuff. That's really nice. And you get a decent amount. Feels so far away from Christmas right now, but it's good to have these. Oh, and I do like the way it's individual designs so that you can just kind of target something and put like a little ball here and like a star there kind of thing. It says Merry Christmas, which is nice. These ones are all like faded and weird. That's weird. Is it like that on all of them? Yeah. It's like that on all of it. So it must be like something wrong with the printer. Okay, and this one's all white designs. It's really pretty. We'll see how these ones transfer. I do sometimes have issues with like transfer. Um, 
And I have two different glues, so I'm not sure if I just need to buy better quality glue or if it's the foils that I'm buying. Um, but that one's really cute. gingerbread men and stuff that's this one looks a little bit better quality print the other one looks really like kind of clouded or fuzzy like it's not in focus yeah it's not the best print like this merry christmas you can barely read it um so these ones aren't the best quality i would say but it also depends on how it transfers. Because <laughs> they can look really pretty, but if it doesn't transfer nicely, then it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, I think I like this one. This one's a lot crisper looking. And once again, see this image here? It's so faded, you hardly see it. It's supposed to be like a tree branch, but that's unfortunate. This one looks like it has gingerbread houses. Yeah, that's cute. But once again, there's images on here that are super faint. And really cute, you got some like candles. It says, I miss you, Merry Christmas, love. Um, little pink ornaments. And a little holly. I like the holly. It's cute. Okay, this next package, I'm opening it really just for the storage um, that's in it. But I ordered this one December 22nd. It arrived January 20th. And I paid $7.85. And this is from the You Are Beautiful cosmetic store on AliExpress. Okay, let's just look really quickly at this. I think, did I order this or was this a gift? See, I never remember anymore. It's been so long since I ordered things, I don't remember. But there's zippers. I might have ordered this. I'm um, just because I thought the zipper was really cute and so I got them in silver and gold. And I already got cat hair on it. And these are stickers, I think. Yeah, these are stickers. <laughs> I'm so used to the size being um, water decals, so. <laughs> but there's no plastic layer, so it must be sticker. <laughs> okay, and then I got these little tools, um, mainly for just like mixing things and stuff. So this one's like a little spatula. This one is a little scoop. Um, so I could probably use it for like sprinkling sparkles on and stuff like if I'm doing like a sugar nail um, I thought it was really cute with the little sort of crystals at the top Of course, they're just plastic, but It's fine And then this one is just like a pokey tool You could definitely use it to create little dots and stuff if you wanted It just comes to a fine point so Get it out So that was a set of three. And then I bought these little guys. And unfortunately there's not a lot in there, but you can see it's a variety pack. And you got little like flowers and um, flamingos and little pineapples. I really like the little pineapples, super cute. Okay, and then I just wanted to open this up just for practical reasons. Ugh. It's well packed. Anyways. So this is just for storing your drill bits. Yeah, and that's why there's a little cap on it so it doesn't get dusty. Right now I don't really have a proper storage for them. I just have like a little bin that I'm throwing them into. And it just feels like, even though I just sanitize them, as soon as I throw it into the bin, it doesn't feel like it stays clean somehow. 
Um, I think it's just a mine thing, but I thought this would be really good. So I got that. Okay, next up, I just have this small little package and these are just some tips for my e-file. I got some fine and some medium um, grit. And this is, I ordered this actually April 28th and it just arrived the other day on the 26th. I paid $10.26 and it's from the April Nail Tool Store on AliExpress. And of course these will get stored in here. All right, this next package, um, I ordered March 29th and it also just arrived the other day on the 26th. I paid $4.43 and it's from the BQAN official store on AliExpress. And this is a gem picker and I really needed one of these. Oof, got cat hair on me. Okay. So it's got a nice fine point on the one side and the other side it's got the wax tip. And I think it's really pretty. Really love that oil slick look. So it matches all my other tools, which is great. And I definitely will probably need this during the collab videos. So just make it a little easier to get those gems on. All right, for this next package, um, it arrived in this bag. So this Canada Post bag. And that's because it was slightly damaged. It was actually partially open. Um, so they, they repacked it for me, but there was some damage, I think, to some of the items. I believe it was water damage. Um, so we'll take a look at that, but uh, just before we do, um, I ordered this one December 1st and it arrived January 6th. Yeah, you can see the water damage right there. And these are some water decals, so I believe I got some money back for that. Um, but yeah, I ordered this from the Nail Pretty Store, and I paid $23.98 for the contacts of this bag. Okay, so I did order some, some more um, Two Joy stamping polish, and I did have a hard time with the Born Pretty Gold and Silver. I found that they didn't transfer very well. Um, so I decided to go ahead and try the Two Joy um, and see if I had any better luck with the Silver and Gold. So if I can open it, my goodness. There we go. Ugh, and it's a little dirty. Um, maybe that's from the water damage. I don't know. This one looks okay though. Oh, but it's also pretty dirty on the inside. You can see that. Okay, and let's look at these water decals because they are so damaged. Um, I did, yeah, I got my money back for the sheet, but it is like a Christmas one. So you got snowflakes and candles and it says Merry Christmas. Get some candy canes. Um, but basically this entire side is kind of useless. You can see how they've transferred onto the plastic here. Um, so that's definitely not what you want. But yeah, um, it's really unfortunate that that happened. But at least I didn't have to pay for it or at least I got my money back. And then it looks like I bought two stamping plates. So this is the You Are Beautiful brand. And this one is... <laughs> more like Christmas sweaters and snowflakes, which I know I have a ton of. Um, but I do like the way that there's some full coverage designs down here for snowflakes. But these snowflakes are really large, so they basically cover your whole nail, which is fine. I mean, I have lots with smaller snowflakes. So this will be good. And then I got this stamping plate. So you are beautiful 06 and it's just got like different designs. You got like some swirly designs, some geometric designs. Um, yeah, so just kind of different overall patterns. I really like this where it's kind of like an optical illusion. I think that's really cool. Same with this one. Yeah. Okay, and then last but not least, we have all of these polishes. And 
open one up here. So I did buy, I think, their entire collection, at least what they had on the website there. And these are supposed to have flowers floating around inside. So I did bring some tools to open stuff, so I'm prepared this time. This is the yellow, apparently. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so there's definitely lots of flowers floating around. That's pretty. Okay, so um, we are going to do swatching at the end, so I'll finish opening all these and then we'll swatch them at the end, but I have one more package that I wanna open, and then we will start the swatching. Okay, it's time for our last package. So this one I ordered May 20, no, May 12th, sorry, and it arrived today, the 28th. It just arrived this morning, which I was super excited about because I really feel like I'm probably gonna need these items for the um, tutorials, we'll see. I don't know what they're going to throw at me, so I need to be prepared. Um, so I paid $17.65 for these six colors, and it's from the Born Pretty official store on AliExpress. And these are all um, gel paints, except for this one. I did get a glitter. So I'm going to go off camera and open all of these, and then we'll start the swatching. So I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Okay, first thing we're going to test out is the stamping plates and the stamping polishes. So um, I'm just going to take the plastic off those and we're going to swatch them on these two swatch sticks I have here. They're just old swatch sticks. Um, this one's actually broken, so I'm just gonna be really careful. But it's just uh, so we can see what it's gonna be like. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Big Bang Cube Stamper for this. Okay, as I was opening these, I just realized that um, instead of sending me number four, they sent me two number five. Um, so that's unfortunate because I did order one through six, which was their entire collection, but they sent me two of one color.
Okay, so I think this is everything that I opened in this video. We have all of the stickers and the water decals, and I did actually order all of them. Um, and then the flowers and all of the different types of mylar as well as the foil and these cute little um, glitters. And then we have these little charms down here, which are super cute. The foils here, and of course the file bits that I ordered. And then all of the nail tips, which is great. I'll have those for my video. And then I had the stamping polishes, the gold and silver that worked perfectly, as well as the stamping plates. We have the gem picker and then all of those colors that were the paints. They worked pretty decently. I thought they were a little bit more watery than I was expecting. Um, I did order another brand's um, paint, so we'll see how those do comparatively. And then I had this polish, which was really beautiful as well. And then we also had these dry flower gels. They were really beautiful. Unfortunately, I was missing number four, and that one was actually a red flower, so that was unfortunate that I didn't receive that. And these you would definitely want to use um, like when you're encapsulating flowers, I think. You wouldn't want to just do it like this. It's really quite bumpy, you can see that. But yeah, really pretty. I really like this yellow one with all the colors. It's really pretty. Okay, so if you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to watch for my videos in June where I'll be participating in the collab videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know every time I post a new video. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye!